Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's spread I'm using this kit from Hello Petite Paper. I actually uh, used this kit for the first time like in my Erin Condren in April and I thought the spread turned out really cute and I think it was, yeah, I guess it was still spring at the time. Um, but I thought the, the colors, sorry, I'm like stuttering, <laughs> the colors still worked really well for like a summer spread. So I wanted to use this kit before summer, you know, ended. <laughs> and I feel like to me, September, like the first week of September, the first full week of September is when I start using like fall kits and that's what I plan to do. So you guys will still be seeing a lot of summer spreads because I am super behind. Like this is still um, like the end of June. So you guys still have like another two months worth of spreads to see that are like summery. But yeah, um, I did want to use this kit. So uh, the first thing that I did was white out the sidebar and then I grabbed this uh, like heart checklist and I wanted to use this one with the pattern on it uh, because I thought that I could use some of the other ones that are more plain in some other spreads. Like for example, you'll see that I pull in like a different Hello Petite paper uh, like checklist in another spread that I'm going to film. Like I already kind of pulled the stickers that I'll need for that one. So um, yeah, so I do like to keep ombre heart checklists or just heart checklists if I really like them. Usually I de-stash them, but sometimes I do end up keeping them, especially if they're like in colors or patterns that I'll use a lot. So that's kind of what I did with this. And then I put on top of that a to-do header that came in the kit. And then I was looking for like a washi strip. I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull in this green. I think I pulled it in like one other time other than this washi strip. But this really was the only strip that I had left in the kit and otherwise I would have had to use a flag and it just would have been like messy. So I was like, all right, green it is. And then I grabbed this quarter box with a bow that was in my shop for like a weekend. It was a weekend exclusive a couple months ago, yada yada. Every time I use these, I feel like I have to say that. Um, but yeah, this was just one on a white background. And then for my glitter headers this week, I just pulled in these ones that were actually from a different Hello Petite paper kit, but the color matched like so well, so I thought that worked out great. It was still Hello Petite paper, so like the paper was the same, although I did put overlays on top of it, so I guess it doesn't really matter what the paper was, but I just thought that was kind of like a little win for myself <laughs> that I was able to find these, and it was like the closest pink that I had anyways. I think this was actually from her Planner Girl kit, and I used that kit, I want to say it was in 2018 for like the planner event that I went to in May. I think that's when I used it, and then I, I can't remember when I used the leftovers, but um, I know that I did keep these glitter headers since, like I said, they're something that I could pull in, and look at that, I did pull them in. And then this was my last set of these header overlays. I mean, I'm going to make myself some more, but <laughs> this is just all I had left because if you guys have watched, I don't remember which plan with me it was, but um, but I didn't have any more overlays. I just had this last set and I didn't really want to pull that in when I needed like three sets of them, if that makes sense, like for like a full, you know, spread in my recollections planner, but um, I only need seven in this one, so it worked out perfectly fine. And I think glitter header overlays just, like, really make a spread, in my opinion. Like, yes, full box overlays are really awesome, but I think glitter header overlays are, like, the best thing to really scatter, like, the glitter throughout your entire spread. And there's just so much of it, and I love them. And then once I finished that, I think I went ahead and did the date dots. Um, I just used some ones that I had in my shop. I say this every time again, but um, they have been reformatted since. They are like in a daintier font, but I do have like a billion of these left. Um, like ones that I've just made for myself and kept. And I have like a bunch of different sheets on them with a bunch of different numbers. So I pulled in like all the numbers for this week from like three different sheets just because I try to use the ones that have only a few left first and then like I pull in other ones from like newer sheets if that makes sense. Um, that's the nice thing about having just one like type of date cover or sorry date dots. I think like when I whenever I use ones from other shops I always end up with like a bunch of like random numbers left and then I can't really use them because I don't want to use like different ones. I think that just like looks messy so I do really like that I have these and I'll, I can be consistent and then once I start running really low I'll switch to the new ones that I have in my shop and then you know We'll, we'll just get rid of whichever ones I have left over in these. But anyways, starting on Monday, I accidentally put down the stickers for Monday on Tuesday. Just like the first two stickers, I think. And then I was like, hold up. That's Monday. What am I doing? Yep, I think I figured it out. And uh, there we go. I'm like, what? Nope. That's Monday. <laughs> 
but um, I wanted to mark down that I had like a little evening with like my best friend. Her name is Sarah. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her. Um, but yes, yeah, so I grabbed the best friend Ava sticker that's from my shop. And then I grabbed this nail polish sticker that's also from my shop and I layered it on top of a little flag that came in the kit. And then I grabbed this gold foiled envelope sticker also from my shop. <laughs> and that was to mark down that I had to go to the post office. The nail polish sticker was to mark down that we are getting a pedicure together. Well, she got a man manicure, I got a pedicure. And really by the time her manicure started, um, I was done my pedicure. So I kind of just sat with her. <laughs> so we ended up being at the nail salon for like two and a half hours. Because my, man uh, sorry, my pedicure took like about an hour and then her manicure because she gets um, like acrylic nails or bio gel. I don't really know. I never do fake nails, so I have no idea, uh, you know, what you call it. But uh, yeah, so we ended up being there for a long time and we worked up an appetite. So we ended up going to Starbucks and Freshy that was like really close by. Um, and that's what I marked down beside the best friends and then also in the morning what I marked down was I just grabbed like a flag from the kit and I cut it down um, I know plan most plan uh, does this Lauren and I really like how it looks with like the white space all around it So I did that and grabbed a Ava that's cooking to mark my meal prep um, And then on Tuesday I used a bunch of different things. <laughs> I used a flag from the kit as well as a payday flag as well as a money icon from the kit and then I also marked down my work schedule I work three times this week since the weekend was like a long weekend so only three days this week and I just used like the mini flags that came in the kit the same ones that I the same one that I used on Monday but I put them like sideways obviously um, and then I used these work scripts, which mm, I'm not going to say anything, but you might see these in my shop soon. <laughs> um, a little sneak peek for all my, you know, YouTube watchers. So shout out to you. You'll see another sneak peek in this uh, plan with me as well. Uh, yes, I have like a bunch of scripts coming. So look out for that. And then after marking work on Tuesday, I marked down that I went to Michael's because I have one that's super close to my work. And I used this money bag icon that is from my shop. And then I also did some reading this day. So I used an Ava that's reading and I thought the colors also matched really well. So at first I was going to use like a foiled book sticker, but I thought like the girl would look so cute in here. So I just wrote that in. And then on Wednesday, I wrote down that I had a plan with me go live with a um, play button. Didn't call it a film clapper, almost, but it's a play button. <laughs> and then I marked down that I had a dentist appointment, so I used an alarm clock sticker from my shop for that. And then I worked on a bunch of orders this day, so I used this really cute patterned uh, like floral half box. Patterned, cute, floral, <laughs> all the different words. Um, and I used an Ava on her laptop beside that and then I just watched some Netflix in the evening So I used a TV icon from the kit to mark that down and then Thursday I had work and while I was at work I actually placed an order on Natura Market, which is like an online grocery store um, Which is really awesome. I've spoken about it a few different times But they do have like a certain like section for just keto food Which makes it really convenient because I know whatever I get from there will be keto and I don't have to check like you know all the carbs on all the things so it's really convenient it's definitely more expensive but you know it is what it is so I used a um, icon from the kit for that and then I used a half box to mark down that I went to Starbucks with my friend Tio after work I also used this foiled latte sticker that's from my shop and then after Starbucks Yanni came over so I used a little thing for that and then for some reason I planned Saturday before Friday, like not even on purpose. Like I know I do that sometimes and I'm like, oh, I'll do this day first because I know what I want to put down. No, no, like I just totally forgot about Friday. You'll see once I finish doing Saturday, I'm like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> totally skip that day. But anyways, on Saturday I was helping my brother move. So I used a half box to mark that. And then I also wrote that my parents were leaving. Um... They went to the States. I can't even remember where in the States at this point. This was so long ago, but and they've gone like on a bunch of different trips since so I can't really remember um, And I used a car sticker for that and then for the actual move I used this foiled uh, like box sticker Which if you guys might watched my I think it was my last plan with me I was saying how perfect this box sticker would have been and I got so angry at myself that <laughs> I went and made myself 
these box stickers. I also made car stickers because I needed those too and I didn't have them, but this kit came with a car sticker, so I just used that instead of a foiled one. This is when I realized that I hadn't done Friday yet. <laughs> Um, and then I also used a little thing at the end of the day to mark down that Yanni and I were watching some Black Mirror. And I don't think I mentioned, but I also layered like a heart sticker on top of the box sticker. <laughs> sticker, sticker, sticker. Um, just, I don't know, to make it a little bit more cute. I don't love that it matched the color of the half box, but like there were two different hearts in the kit, like icons like this, and they were both blue. I was like, why can we not make them different colors? <laughs> but anyways, I still think it looks cute. And then I moved back to Friday because I realized, you know, I hadn't done it. <laughs> and so I put down this flag. I actually cut it down to be a little bit smaller because it was a little too big for that area. And I wrote down that I had to pick up my grandma after work. And I call my grandma by her first name. I call all my grandparents by their first name, which is probably really weird. Does anyone else do that? Please tell me someone else does that. But I've always just done that. And her name is Maya or Maria, but we call her Maya. Um, so I wrote that and then my brother came home this day since he was moving home the next day He like came home so that we can go down together um, and down I mean downtown <laughs> since he lives like south um, And I live in the suburbs and then I also did some cooking and baking this day So I used a half box with a baking Ava for that and then on Sunday since we've already done Saturday <laughs> I used a cleaning Ava to mark down that I did some cleaning I used another grocery icon from the kit to mark down that I grabbed some groceries. And then I had to pick up my grandma again since my parents were out of town. Um, and then in the evening, I also did some filming and I used a flag with another little hinty hint, <laughs> sneaky sneak um, script or font that is foiled and it says film. I love it. I think it looks so good. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it for this week. Let me show you all the beautiful foil. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.